<laughs> and we have evidence. Here we go. All five players for G2 outside the A bomb site. Just going to be a set piece. Three players of utility, three HE grenades. Three players to defend initially on the bomb site. The rule of three in full effect. Yeah, let's see what these USPs could do. First couple of shots are just blind, and the Glocks are getting awfully close right now. Linus, Glocky, and Rez, they all fall. Device has shown up, and without that kill, this round is almost unwinnable. But now at least it's a 2-1-3, and they still have duelies. Yeah, so. this round should be entirely winnable for G2. The nade barrage towards Ticket Booth works perfectly. Now they have control of CT. They've got a nice crossfire set up. I don't think they realize how close this creep along the wall has been, but now they've got the information, and the duelies in a real rough spot, but Hampus makes him work for the first kill. He didn't take too much damage either getting shot at the back. He's trying for more. Hunter is right behind him. He jumps. He's just all over the place. Very stressful indeed. Around on the T side, even with the smoke down of Ticket Booth, just you never know about those USPs, but they they managed to make it past. Now they're up against Deagles, though. Yesterday when we were watching uh, you know, G2 play against MIBR, some of these Deagle rounds were just ridiculous. Um, trading yes. all over the place. Yeah. That was a weird back and forth. I mean, G2 did it on their T side as well, but certainly on the CT side, they looked uncomfortable. This was this was kind of the map that we watched and we're like, ooh, this game could get could get odd. Because MIBR yeah. was putting up a decent fight early on and, and eventually G2 just ran away with it. Back to the A bomb site through T spawn. Hunter is gonna be left alone in the underpass. Throwing out utility, taking attention, taking eyeballs in his direction. Nico up in Palace with Omenek Jackson next to lining up utility for this hit. Device with a scout. HE as well. If he lands a couple of tags, falls back, throws the nade onto them. Who knows what might happen? Taking a little bit of damage himself, and the smoke is making his job just that much harder. Rez will be in charge instead, picking up a headshot with a deagle before he does go down. Three on four. Nexa has the right idea. Yeah, he was just pre-aiming that so heavily. And Plopski sees at 75, just getting his toes slightly burnt. Gonna still take uh, Nexa down. Yeah, they don't have a chance to fall back and save these guns as well. They're very committed. Good tag from Device is gonna force Almanac away. Plopsy's got an angle. Okay, no kit, but this is still doable. It's still in the realm of possibility. Nico doing damage from Palace, and Device is starting to shift into the bomb site. They still haven't found Hunter and through the smoke. That should seal it. Nico just continuing to tap away, preventing Plop. It's gonna be just pistols and probably no armor, or definitely no armor. So they have a couple of Mac 10s in play. Yeah, let's see him get involved. Build up the cash flow. Next is going to lead the way. There's no flashbang, so I think, ooh, that, excuse me, there is. They just used it when I saw it, and Amanek is going to try and recover. The MAC-10's not doing as much work, but don't worry. The rifles have arrived from behind, and Hunter's going to shut things down. Maybe not all the needs here for the NIP side, but you have to expect they want to try as much as they can to avoid a repeat of Ancient and just get him. It was 9-0 at the start of the first half in favor of G2. So NIP, if they can get on the board early on here, could get really interesting. This will be interesting to watch this particular battle, how much Nico likes to get aggressive up those stairs, up that ramp, and yeah, if Device is going to be positioned with the AWP, that, I mean, I don't, you know, it's kind of a guessing game for Nico. You do that when Device is there, and this is the likely outcome. Yeah. He falls before anything else really happens. Let's see where they end up. Bomb is still dropped outside of T spawn there at top mid, so... Device is now taking the deep angle down A ramp with that AWP. He's cleared it out entirely, knows nobody's there. That's gonna allow Rez to kind of shift towards window, which means he has easier and quicker access towards the B bomb site if they're feeling the pressure. It looks like they are gonna be feeling the pressure. Just Nexa holding the middle, while the rest of them are gonna try and see if they can entry here. And if anyone rotates through middle, maybe Nexa can pick them up. It's a pretty good strategy. Ooh, he did get spotted, and they're gonna go, yep, they need to hunt him down before anything else happens here. Hunter with the one kill, and Jackson the follow-up. And that is such a big entry into the bomb site. And again, now suddenly Nexa's position in the middle there becomes a real big problem. They're gonna catch almost res, yep. Behind that cash register, he's gonna be out of it, and Nexa yeah, just showing himself. This is definitely a save call now coming out from NIP if it wasn't already. Yeah, it was a save call as soon as those two kills went down. Device yeah. hasn't even budged. He didn't even think about rotating over. And, I mean, fair play. In there. And when you're caught that off guard, it's really hard to communicate with your teammate, Hampus, who's on catwalk of exactly... We'll get someone with some flashbangs. We'll position him with you. 
He's just full support mode. Campers. I don't know if he wanted to make the jump over, but he certainly didn't. Hunter, though, is really quick down the middle of Hampus. Sort of backs up. Maybe he can actually catch him. I don't think they have any idea. Hampus making that play work. And Device with a kill on Jax. That's a good start. Two for one trade, favoring NIP. And you've still got that AK-47 that, that G2 has no knowledge of where it is on the map. It's on LNZ. He's back in CT spawn at the moment. He'll be playing retake on this A bomb site. And especially with having a man advantage in a four on three, even with pistols, it's a very powerful retake setup as well. Not needing to commit to the kills. Nico and Palace hoping someone's going to make a mistake and walk into his crosshair. And it's, it's Device that would be the one to do it. And, and you, he's, he doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. G2, you can understand the, the sudden worry in their steps here, just trying to, to not leak any audio towards the middle and maybe hoping even for uh, someone for NIP to show up there. You could see Nico has kind of been looking into the bomb site. He's not been able to spot anyone yet. 45 seconds on the clock, and that AK is so far back. They can't really easily find it. I think LNZ is playing this so well at the moment. The biggest disaster for NIP at this point would be if LNZ went down before his teammates rotated over for the retake or went down, you know, before spotting numbers, spotting them coming in. He would love to just have one decent enough battle, spot them coming out palace, take that fight, but stay alive and survive for your teammates. Plopsky's making his way towards Catwalk. Rez is rotating over now, and Bomb's about to get planted. Ooh, device down there. Maybe Nico actually could have had that. A lot of damage. Nice tapping away. Takes down Lena's butt. Next to Fell in the meantime. Nine seconds on the clock. They need to put that bomb down. Rez with a headshot and the follow up. IP on the second map, but in. Uh... Surely, what's a very annoying fashion if you're on the G2 side? You're not going to be too happy about that. Lena's taken a tiny bit of damage. And some mid control being attempted here for Hunter, but he's on his own. If he can distract them, stay alive, just do some damage in here, that B push could actually work really well. Plopsky, though, this time, he wasn't caught off guard, and he managed to do some damage. Jack's running through a Molotov. He did uh, actually get down onto the bomb site finally. Is he going to be clearing any kind of a path? Hunter has been found in the middle by Rez. Super important kill because now they can focus on that retake. But Jax, so deep in. They didn't even realize, I think, Hampus is going to fall two on two for only a second. Back into a one on one. Lena's down there. Nex are admiring that skin for just a second. But up against the Org, you might want to be careful about doing that. He's got a lot of time. A lot of time he can just wait because LNC, you can see him just shoulder peeking, jiggling for any intel. And if Nex is watching the right spot at the right time, he might have a chance to just end this quickly. There it is, and nice. Is ensuring safety in that much space for his teammates who are back in the halls, who can take their time, Molotov out the dark corner position, the get right position, find one more kill before they themselves commit to the bombsite. But none of that is really super possible if you don't have the confidence that that bombsite is clear that Jax provided. Seventh round now. They did, they did get the round off of, you know, no investment really. So that's why they have the money just to, to still put together a pretty decent buy in this one. But they need to get back in this game pretty much right now. Not a complete repeat of what was happening on Ancient, but... Yeah. But still. A reset sure here would be pretty brutal. It would be, and it, you, I'm starting to feel a little bit worried here for, for NIP. You, you, just a bit. Yeah, if you're NIP, though, you still have the losing bonus. So you'd, you at least, again, as you pointed out on the last map, a little bit of a silver lining. True. This is going to end up being a hit towards that A-bomb site. So you can see it on the minimap. Four G2 members now lining up with Nico and Pals. We've seen this a number of times already. Hunter just lurking in middle. There's three defenders here, though, again. Rez. Just spotted as he tried to walk past. Device, instead of falling back, he wants to help out his teammate in shadow. I could admire that. 35 seconds on the clock. It's Lina's going down, but he did take someone with him. Next, a big double opening and tapping away Nico. He's been doing that a lot, and he's been very successful with it, but this time he falls a bit short. 25 seconds. Ooh. If only Hunter had the bomb, it would be amazing. They can't make that run. I'm f I feel like... That's not going to be... Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. I, this is this is crazy. I feel like it's going to be so close. I don't think he can do it. Yeah. There's no from, way. Just from memory, I feel like it's it's going to be longer than that. Yeah, time is up. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, they can actually... <laughs> they almost want to... I, then I would have known. I would have cracked that code <laughs> immediately. I'm onto that. Don't you worry. Well, NIP stave off disaster for the moment.
G2 put into a desperate buy scenario. Three deagles on Jack's next on Hunter. Two AK-47s, but really, really hurting on utility and nades. So, yeah, looks like they're just going to fall into an easy attack of this B bomb site. Easy execute. Jack's lurking over towards A. Baby with a deagle able to pop up the ramp and get a kill on an unsuspecting player. Plopsky got to be careful, though. If he goes down in this position, he's the only one at the bomb site. You say they're staving off disaster, but it feels a little bit like if they duct tape the hole in the Titanic. It it's, doesn't bring you that much confidence. And it'll take a lot of duct tape as well. Yeah, it's, I mean, it might work temporarily. Might, yeah, okay, well, we're not immediately drowning, but. I guess they're trying to execute a fake here, but that really relies on these guys getting one kill with the Deagle. Jackson Nexa creeping up. They've got a lot of space. NIP not expecting this. Oh, that's huge. That's massive. And they're going to spot two more in dark. Now, surely, they have to know there's only one defender at this bomb site. Great shot. Great peek from Nico. What are you supposed to do about this? The Deagle's ringing out everywhere. And G2 in a powerful position to get to six. They really are. I would have bet money that Jax was going to get shot in the back from that MP9 in dark. It looked like he was so exposed, and somehow he got away with that one headshot. Hampus is knocked through. Maybe he could find Nico, although that time is surely shrinking. If he makes a step here, he's dead, and he will be anyway. Couldn't really check the bench properly. Lena's going to be walking all the way out of here, and it is... Yeah. Definitely want to... I mean, that's what we're doing this whole thing for. We need all the best teams. Every one of them. Ninth round is coming up. NIP with not that much to work with. Heavy lean towards the A bomb site. Hampus on his own with the deal over on that side. I mean, if anything, yeah, you're right. They did win that awkward round. And they've managed to do damage to G2, which on Ancient for that 9 and 0, they almost had no kills at all, NIP. At least they're not suffering through that right now. But they need to turn this around. They this don't they have almost no map control in any of these rounds, I feel like. They don't know, ever know what's happening in the middle. Yeah, I don't know if this is necessarily a round for them to get back on track unless G2 kind of walk into it as he's just weakened weapons, Deagles, a Scout, the Argon, LNZ is the only thing. And unfortunately, G2 is calling a great game and they've selected the right bomb site, or have they? Hampus with one traded immediately. Hunter, the timing on that is going to piss him off. Trades all across the map into a two-on-two. -two. LNZ still here with the AUG, and he's trying to hunt down Jax. It's a bit of an awkward duel. That's a good find. All on Almanac, planting the bomb in the open at A. Yeah, he snuck right past Rez, which is kind of funny. If he hadn't lost his teammate over at the B-bomb site, it would have been so weird for them to try and figure out where the bomb even actually was, potentially, at least for a couple of seconds there. But now... Amanek here. Not the best game for him yet here on Mirage, but now is a chance for a big clutch if he can get it. Almost able to spot it. There's the first kill. Now they know where he is. Linus is coming up, but Amanek with us. That always makes me think that it'll end up in the B-bomb site, just because jumping out the window in the Mac 10 is so Ooh. cool. That's a lot of damage on the device. Yeah. That's a crappy way to start around, Anders. At least he has the AWP, but you're right. Doesn't feel that great, does it? Ooh, is there a little bit of fact? Yeah, a, a palace slowly but surely creeping in as Linus. I think some one of the first times we've seen anything like this out of NIP. I was gonna say, surely you like it. You just you just commented on them not ever having information, and here we are, at least LNZ saying, okay, Nico's not here, so it's not gonna be that A set piece that that he's usually involved in from this position. Device is gonna start cheating over through the murder hole. Gonna choose to go to the B bomb site. Two players stacked up. And Nexa is going to lead the way in. Device at the market window. He's got a clear line of sight and he's got a kill. Hampers with a double Plopsky chiming in. And now Jax. Almost as five. Get us an opening kill. You've got some deagles. You've got some utility as well. If you find that opening kill, you have the tools to apply a bit more pressure. You have the tools to capitalize on it. But a lot of this is the, uh, the if game of can that op actually find you something? Yeah, and surely have the element of surprise as well. They're going to be guessing the economy, maybe not guessing that AWP walking in down low on the bomb site. Linus with a good spray, but only the one kill. Looked like that could have definitely been a double. That AWP has not fired a shot yet. Nico is down. Device AWP definitely finding the kills, and Hampus is just out there fighting. Not a surprise they just wanted to execute into it afterwards. They, they could have spent another minute 
looking for more openings, just creeping around with that weapon. I, I think the, the hard part is you kind of have the two options, right? Where you can kind of slow play the round and give the op plenty of time and try and set it up to find an opening kill. A little bit difficult to do sometimes on Mirage, the amount of utility that gets dumped from both sides in mid and all the flashbangs and the resources you have to invest there. I think this time with that kind of push into the bomb site with the pistols, the op is there to maybe hold the repeat from ticket booth, hold the repeat from the top of the stairs, and maybe you find a really supportive kill in that fashion. Obviously did not pan out the way they would have liked it to. But it always works out better in your head before actually happening. Right, it's very hard to come up with a plan and then thinking, and then analyzing it from the point of view that everything fails. That's usually not people. What is Jax doing? He is. Uh, he's trying to figure out what those CRTs are. Exactly what you mentioned yesterday. He's like, what is this alien device? This ancient technology. These Sumas. <laughs> it's like, he's fascinated by it. Well. Eventually, he's going to give up on that. Looked like they had almost like a little bit of an impromptu team meeting there. Just hanging out in the hallways for a while. And all NIP have to do is not get caught off guard. Everyone just trade some kills and they'll be fine. M4 here. Good position. Nice need. That lands on absolutely everyone in the middle. And they're all inside of the <laughs> smoke. Oh, rest. Oh, no. That is annoying. I wonder if he jumped. <laughs> out of his chair. Yeah, like. I wonder if he just freaked out. Nice oh. quick. I don't know, a couple of years ago. I would assume because of the self-boosting is such a possibility. Yeah, but even that, even even just going into the window, I feel like people just do it less. Oh my god, can't... I don't know, maybe it just it was so popular that people started countering it and checking it way more and it just became less of a factor. So maybe it's just once it's been gone for a while, it'll come back again. Yeah, I'm sure it'll, it'll come back. It just feels like for a, for a short while here, it's been less popular. Jack's had the right idea, but Klopski just winning the fight. Yeah. Shot him in the face. Device still looking over this smoke, but clock has run out on this play. He doesn't feel comfortable there anymore. They're going to fall out of it, Resin Device. Klopski's come over to the window room as well. That second op on Hampus is just being used in those B halls after that kill. Get a deep angle, have information, and know it's clear. It's not going to be clear for much longer, though. G2's coming right back, and it's going to give Hampus a chance to have. An impact in this round. Yeah, big chance here. Even if he missed the shot, should be able to fall back around the corner. Pretty cool position. Oh, 40 seconds. He actually goes a bit early. Some noise being made in middle. He wanted to try and relocate. Hunter is selling this as much as he can because the real push is going to be here at the B hallway. Is Amanek. That is an incredible opening to get Hampus killed. I thought for sure he'd be dead already. Three versus four. 25 seconds left. And Plopski. He could almost end a round right here, but they're planting at an off angle, oh. not the default plan. Then Plopski, you could see he was thinking, surely I'm here to stop the bomb. They boost Damanek up in the corner, and just like that, it's a three on two as Nexa goes down. Nico still with all the health, making sure no one's coming through this part of the map so they can focus on just the market. Amanek with a good position, but he's still going to go down to rest. And now, Nico, if he had a Molotov, he'd be so cool, but he just doesn't. All he has is the lineup to hope he can get something done. Some nice tabs with the AK, but ultimately, the AUG will take him down, and it's going to be NIP picking up a sixth round. At SP, they've just rattled off four straight on this defensive side to get themselves back into the map and pretty much back into the series. Yeah, really impressive stuff. And, and again, unlike on Ancient, they have a, a much worse economy, G2. So the, the cost yeah. is really high for them losing some of these rounds. There's been far more rounds of G2 playing pistols here. Yeah. Flashes are out. Tech Nines are running in. Supportive flashbangs in the air, even as they're getting down on the low ground of the bomb site. And Plovsky doesn't care about any of that. He was in a position that's almost impossible to flash here, even if you're throwing them into the sky. So they just don't stand a chance. Ooh, okay. That's just Nico spamming away with the Deagle and picking up the shots. Nexa goes down. Oh, what? He just pulled out the Deagle and shot it instantly. Still like in half. Well, money's good for everyone, so at least it's it's a little bit more of a fair fight. Krieg on Amanek. Still feel like that. Still has some value in the game, even if it's much diminished. Very rarely. And, I don't know, a little bit more mid-presence. At least Rez is keeping an eye on what's happening in the middle. Unlike some of these other rounds where NIP have really been blind to, to this part of the map. So, interested to see if that will pay off for them. Is it going to be a boost finally? 
You've got your boost, Anders. Well, maybe we'll find out why it's not being used as much. Hunter's on the other side. He's always oh, aiming at the vent instead. Is that enough to give Rez a chance when the smoke fades? Or is the flick going to be there from Hunter? He's not seeing him yet. But now he is. Rez was looking up. Trying to just continue. Hampers is there. Double window setup. Hampus is a B defender, though. And you can see repositions over towards that B bomb site. Wondering if maybe G2 is going to notice that and try and exploit the situation. Nico probing on Catwalk using utility and having some presence. Take a lot of damage in here as a push. LNZ, the timing of it is everything. Oh, this is so brutal. He might think he cleared it. Amanek just creeping into the position he vacated. I think he's hearing footsteps as well. And LNZ has one towards mid, and that should be the round. Two on four, but Amanek's position, he would need to double up, and that's not going to happen. Not even the first. And NIP going to recover fully. They rattle off the last six rounds of this half so and unfortunately for nip i mean both these both these opening halves on each map has been a factor of getting back in the game they've started out a little bit slow but they find it towards the end at least here they get to take an advantage into the second half and now they need they need to use that momentum coming out of the first half and just win this pistol they got a p250 on res blocks on the rest and the bomb is over by that e ramp where Rez could, oh my god, he just crouched right into it. Just look, makes it so casual. Like it's nothing. He's gonna Quick get another flick. one. He's ready for it. If they jump, he's gonna take down Hampers. And he knows there's a second player there for that boost. So he's gonna go read that. <laughs> Taking down Plopski. It's just absolutely outrageous to watch. He hasn't even reloaded yet. He's still got five bullets. He's just ready for more headshots. He's playing with them. <laughs> one more is there. And Lena's in the back. He's still hunting four bullets. And Nexus gonna take it away. But you just must feel credit to Lena's hide. Don't, don't give him the satisfaction. No, go find one of his teammates. That ties it up pretty nicely. NIP, though, will still pick up some AKs and even a scout on device. So they are pretty dangerous in this round, although it looks like G2 have, have seen this coming. Seems to be pretty trendy these days. Nice flash for setup back here. That's very well done. But yeah, they've got four masters and, and an M4 and not a bunch of MP9s. Yeah. Well, and now they have information as well. Kills one, sees a couple more. No need to go for the repeats. Creeping around in middle, are they? Plopski just ducking under the smoke not to get seen. And if they go catwalk, I mean, one of the one of the advantages, one of the few advantages you have if you're if you're NIP is if you can make it up catwalk. Now that Molotov is going to slow things down, which I think is going to make those smokes fade in time for Nico and Omidek to be able to take those fights long range if they don't get around the corner soon. But you're trying to enter into this bomb site and you're dueling with AKs and scouts against Fama, so that's the advantage that you're trying to really capitalize on. Hunter's got one, and at the moment NIP haven't been able to make a whole lot of progress. They're getting stopped every step they take. Good double kill for Device. He's got three in the round, and he need to ace in the one on two that's going to be very hard to do at this point in time just even the 30 seconds left here almost could have had that one but at least he realizes that someone's in there doubles for mass against him they have all the health in the world they even have a smoke on a molotov if they need to see if they can get it no kid currently picked up don't know if there's one on the ground but that could also be a factor if he could buy enough time he's stuck behind the bench and nexa will take him down he just had to find a way out he did the high percentage play, right? Fake the plant, go towards market, see if you lure someone into a peak, and he almost yeah. had the exact fight he wanted, and that was that was kind of the big deal if he was able to get that much easier. And actually, a bit more of an investment that you normally see off the back of that plant. Yeah, I mean, look at it's 850 on him. That's, that's not a lot of cash left. Could be surprising, but at the same time, it's gonna. It's, you're just gonna have to get so many kills for for it to even make sense. Yeah, you're you're trying to catch like, like a, an unsuspecting defender who's taking an over aggressive peak because maybe he feels like he's gonna be going a, up against like an unarmored deagle or Glocks, and you've surprised him with an AK-47. Device is just waiting as that smoke clears at the A stairs. Doesn't look like anyone from G2 is gonna give him the fight he wants though. No, they're being very passive. That's got to be annoying if you're if you're hoping and praying for that. Contact play from Hunter as well, so Jax can peek off of him once Plopki starts really investigating into the site. Or pop flash so Jax can peek. And... Awkward. Yeah, <laughs> it is a bit awkward. The Molotov will, will force him back, so at least Plopski is going to be escaping that one. That is 
very close. Hampus, ice cold, just crouched down there, not even peeking. Jax is down, and here comes the AK-47 headshot to take down Amanek. They need a lot more. They need for that AK to ring true once again. It's not quite done yet, but it is a 5 on 3. Nexa snuck in, and Rez will absolutely drop him. No AK needed. And this has actually worked out for NIP way better than I was expecting. Yeah, NIP actually applied so much pressure to this defense without a whole lot to do it with. The Deagle hiding in smoke and Khan made him feel really nervous. The missed opportunity in the B halls made them feel very, very nervous. Plopsky's even able to find Jax at the end of the day. And that gave all the space needed to device to creep in with the AK-47. So Hunter's just going to try and hold on to this weapon. He's tagged up pretty well. Yep, backing up. We're looking at a tie ball game, Anders. It's exciting, because NIP, again, this is the kind of luck that they haven't really had before. Or maybe, maybe not right now. Not, not at this moment, but maybe like an hour or two. Power nap yeah. in between the maps, if it is the third one. It would be in funnel. Great map to close on. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. You all love that. Well, now G2 are in a not quite the same position, but double AK from us and some pistols. Going into the 19th round. Smokes all over the place. Oh, Nico. He's doing those taps now more and more. He is so just unbelievably accurate with it as well. Amanet goes down, did a backwards boost there. Not all the way on top of the box, but Rez just not even caring about it. Yeah, this that if, if Rez is going to be able to make plays like that with any sort of consistency or frequency, that'll be huge. Nice find from Nex, even better that he's able to escape, but they don't know the position of Hampus, who's been able to heal, hear all those footsteps, so he could make a play. He's got the information. And they're so lean towards the B bomb site. Nice if they could walk it back. Nico with a nice headshot to drop Plopsky. This is a little bit awkward. Back into a three on three, and they had no idea Jax was there. Lena's trying to take the fight to Nico and just jumping down on low ground. I think NMP just gave up their player advantage. They believe Hampus is calling that Nexa already evacuated the B bomb site, so Device has no idea that he's here. Hampus didn't realize that that he never committed to rotating all the way to the B bomb site. Yeah. And that's the round. And unfortunately, again, that's kind of the money heavily disrupted here for the NIP side. They've once again gone for an a AK, armor and, uh, and helmet on device. Maybe they can make it work. That's an incredible flick to take down Jackson. He wants to see if he can power it up and maybe just take the B bomb side entirely. The bomb is really far back, so it's not like they can rush in here and get the bomb plant down. It's all the way down at T spawn. But if you could have caught a second player... That would have been amazing. And now he's just waiting, letting them make a mistake. If they are going to make one instead, Nico will find him. But I kind of appreciate that for Device, though. That was a lot of pressure and a lot of presence that G2 wanted to handle. They, they put some resources into that one. Nico's going to start hustling over towards the A bomb site, but Nexa and Amanek have to hold on a little bit longer. They don't realize how close up, though, Rez is from being able to make a play. It's a little bit late for Plopsky, but Rez does more. Another stellar double kill. Nico finally handle, handles him. And into a two on two we go, as Hunter's going to join up with Nico, and the bomb's going to get planted. You see some of that confidence out of Rez. He was ready even on 12 health to just take that fight and get one more headshot. He fully believed that. But yeah, two on two. This time they have kits. They do not have a smoke grenade for the bomb, which on the A bomb side can make things really awkward. They're going to start making noise, just jumping down in the middle. They haven't found anyone yet. Linus not hearing that? That's surprising. And Hampus is on his own. They have a nade, which is not going to kill him, but at least it will put him low if they throw it back here. They're not even going to do that. So now the question is, can they find him? They're jumping up. They definitely seen him. And he was so messed up in that position. They're going to be right on the bomb. If they'd left it any longer, I think this round will be over and done with. That is... It's... I mean, it is just so imp impressive when you see it happening. You know there's a high chance that it will happen, but... You, you're still day after day just showing up on every single map. Rez taking down Hunter. Smooth movement. That's why we have those movement maps. It does make a difference whether or not you can make that jump instantly. Nexa aiming a little bit off and Device will take him down. Three versus five and what looks like an imminently winnable round here for NIP. Yeah. And, I, yeah, I can't explain anything that happened with, with Nexa and that A ramp, but I know Nico is in a really uncomfortable position once you realize that Rez has access to window room, access to jungle. Yeah. He didn't know where to position or where to go. There were no good options for him. But again, off the back of an opening from Rez, 
Finally, this time they're able to convert it into a round win. I like this play, just right over to the window. I felt like Nexa was snoozing. Possibly. You did say you want a Malik to take a nap, but maybe, maybe more of them are. <laughs> Sleeping on the front line, not a good idea. No, you get in trouble for that. Zero percent chance to win. <laughs> The AI has, has done a Moses, 100%. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Entries, Popsky's right up there with them. That's an incredible trio. Uh, this has been, to me, like a pretty impressive T side for NIP, which which feels odd because they've only won two rounds. Ooh, here we go. Talk about it. Give it to me, baby. Third one, that's nice from Jax. All headshots. And Anders, that's the only M4 brought into the round. So many le low econ rounds just being turned on their head. Beautiful work from Jax. Yeah, what an absolute nerd just boosting up into that <laughs> angle. And it works so well. And he Damn didn't even try hards these days. I know. I'd be typing that in the chat immediately. <laughs> what how else can you get back in them once they just wreck you like that? Amanek guarding the television. Linus kinda knows about it a little bit. The C's at 75 actually not ringing true this time. That's awkward. Two on three now. Ooh, if they can bring it back NIP after that disgusting boost in middle. That would be so helpful. Oh, Hunter, if he can get here quick enough. Uh, ooh, he's so fortunate. Hampus didn't peek on top of the van. Yeah. And that the Molotov miss. Yeah, he's having a little bit of luck here. And he's going to take down Hampus on top of it. And just trying to stay alive because he knows more people are coming to help him out. And Linus has a very, very tough task ahead of him. Actually, almost like he could walk into the market and go for the A-bomb side if he really wanted to throw them for a loop, but he has no idea what... K-47 and his scout and Deagles and still been able to make it work. G2 does the same exact thing right back to him. And I, but, I mean, it can only be impressive for so long until you're just like, wow, they've... Even with all the good things, they let too many opportunities slip away. Yeah, you're right. It's hard to know, you know, what frame of analysis you want to pick here because I kind of agree, NIP have played a pretty cool T-half so far, but they... They just need to string rounds together now. They've even got the economy of G2 low pretty much all the time. It's just on the yes. edge the whole time. So is theirs, though. Are they They're... going to split B? Yeah, it looks like it. Slow-paced one. Device is going to start opening up this angle a little bit wider. Three players on catwalk as well. Flashbang from Hampus to allow them to turn that corner through the smoke. Device is going to Molotov out the position. That's going to force Jax into the open for those catwalk players. But again, just not able to capitalize on the opportunity until it's a little bit late. Oh, Hunter, not able to find another. And a three on three as the bomb gets planted. Really impressive. Popsky nearly died as well. A lot could have gone wrong for NIP, but a bomb plant and a three on three. That's not uh, not that bad, really. See ya. Nade, Flopsky, never getting out of there. <laughs> as soon as you hear it or you see it coming through the smoke, you just know. And Nico's going to reposition. He actually made the window jump to jump into market with his teammates. So you can see Hampus and Device got to be concerned about catwalk, but no one's there. Yeah, but, I mean, even if they get this kill, they got to be careful. Device, he actually hit Nexo on that shot, but it is not enough. They're still going to end up falling and running right onto the bomb of the kit. It's going to be 13 to 10, SG10. The bomb plant, though, will give them some, some bonus cash, and they're going to be able to put into this round and continue the pressure. Smoke is up in the middle. He could have been killed right then and there, Nico. He's just... I don't know. Playing with fire, isn't it? Not anymore. No. Extinguished. Got to play it safe, don't you? Well, not playing it safe. Hunter and Amanek have pushed up into the B-Halls. They see no presence. Amanek is going to leave Hunter in his corner, move towards Catwalk. And if NIP's not clean at making this set piece work, Amanek with the AWP can really, really punish him from behind. That is true. But at the same time, if Nico goes down in this position, that the rest of that e A defense is just done with. He's going to get the one kill, but they're in a lot of trouble on this A side because they're coming up off the ramp as well. They're feeling it now. They're actually doing a very good job right here. Jack's nearly able to pick that one up. It is a two on two, and I, th I actually thought they'd get crushed on that shadow position way quicker. Oh, Device is taking a long time, though. He actually pushed with the bomb towards jungle, and that spot maybe five, six seconds for Hunter's flank to become perfect. Now, they should be able to expect this flank, especially now that Hampus has cleared CT spawn, and now it's been spotted out, and Device is going to land a stunner. Almost was looking the wrong way in spite of the information. Amanek, not a lot of cash. Yeah, 
he Makes had an, he had a great opportunity to stop that hit. He missed one shot as he came up. It's not necessarily an easy shot. You're peeking into gunfire as well, which is never comfortable. But that one shot missed might have been what, what turned it for G2, what alleviated some of the pressure on those A defenders. Good why trading is, from NIP. Why is he stopping to do property damage in the middle of that? Shooting those flower pots. <laughs> he made a point of it even. Doesn't like flowers, maybe. Oh, you are so screwed. And IP, it wouldn't be so shocking the way that they've been playing right now, but they just need to get ahead and they have they have the advantage right now in the weapons and just in everything else. They can really make this work. Get up to 12 rounds, maybe even get up to 13 if, uh, if the money's real bad here for G2. Device, big opening. They did line up for the deagle, but it didn't actually take anyone down, surprisingly. That's nicely done. And look at the cash there. Hunter on 200. Next to 350. They might be able to tie up this game. Yeah, well, they might be able to, but I don't know. Every, it feels like every time they every time they get like a benefit or like a fortunate break, it's like it, it goes away real quick. That's that's true. Would you, would you two be so bold as to try and go for like a, one of those weird buys, like an M4 or something? It just happened. I don't know. Get yourself one more, Amadek. LNZ right above him. Ooh, and he thought he had completed him at a breaking point. So unlike Ancient, where G2 run, went, won like nine rounds in a row and they had like three buys that they could burn through, yes. now it's just like G2's constantly on the back foot. 27 20. kills for Nico. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really outrageous. It's Device with 24 on the other side of things for NIP. I mean, that makes for a spectacular game, which I think this, this second map especially has been. Device versus Nico. I'll take that any day of the week. Nico up here trying to see if he can add to that number. He's done a bit of damage, but received about the same. And we do have another Deagle in play on Jax. So, should be a fine round here for NIP, but just have to make it past the Deagle. So maybe the USB in this case. Aminek got the kill. Nico with the follow-up. Still in control, but some of them are a little bit low, especially device now. Down to a single point of health. AK's been picked up by Amanek and a Molotov. Again, you could make a case for, for trying to save this AK, because some of them really don't have that much money. And on the other side, retaking two on three. I don't know, how bold are they? Well, I think Nico knows he's tagged at least one. And I think if you're Amanek, you let Nico take contact and make the play. Molotov out for him. You need that kill, Nico. And that might have been the one that allowed them to get spurred forward. Beautiful shot on Rez. <laughs> I don't know how he hits those ones. There's no godly explanation. All right. 29th kill. Yeah, he probably could have had the one on the guy running away from the Molotov. That looked like it was almost happening. Plopsky, I believe, trying to make his escape there. If they would have had that one in the follow-up, who knows? Regardless, Nico, I'm assuming, can he run for it? Device goes up with the bomb. It's the AK. It is right there on the ground. Well, let's see. Amanek. Smoke at top mid. Grenade out. He's going to throw it as he runs. Pretty decent nade. Does a little bit of damage onto three of them. Not bad at all. Big control, though. In favor of NIP right now. This is new. Usually it's Nico in this position. Putting the op here as well. Hunter's got back up to watch window, and I think he might have saved him as that smoke fades. I'm not sure if those A defenders would have been prepared for Hampus to turn the corner. What a huge kill from Hunter. And it, that boost in the window was so quick. It was yeah. right off the bat. They just snuck past. I agree. If he doesn't see that, yeah, they're probably just going to get at least a, a kill for free. I wonder if they felt like that boost was slow as the smoke was fading. They maybe were trying to get it in a second or two earlier. Nico. Oh, he, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know, but he does check. He found it at the end. Hunter's going to add one more onto it, and thankfully, because Nexa is extremely low. And now Jax, he does go down, but Hunter is just everywhere. Truly, Linus on his own, a one versus four. He could maybe get the bomb plant down right away. That's going to, again, help out their economy. It does matter, even if it's not a lot. Winning the round, on the other hand, very uphill struggle. Nice jump. Kill actually just jumps out. Maybe could have even had Nico. That actually looked like it was doable for a second. But it's G2 making their way to 14 rounds. Can't be unhappy about that outcome either if you're NIP. The plant is, is huge, obviously, but also you get three kills. Give us the MAC-10B. We do enjoy it. 
Head armor on everyone except for Amanek, but he's got the AWP, not the most likely character to run into the Mac 10s. What an important round to make this call, Anders. Yeah, they're going for it. G2 are checking out the A ramp, but they're going to find out too late. It's going to be down to the existing B defense, and Jax is going to be called. That is a nice pick off from Plopski. Amanek catching one of them as they come past, and they've been slowed down. There's fire on the ground up there, and they can't really make it past, but the bomb is actually committed to the site, so rotation is not happening from the A bomb side yet. I'm not sure G2 understand what is the slowdown even about. Running headshot from Hampus, and there's no chance here for Amanek. He's dead and gone, and they need to save the rest of the guns here on the G2 side. What a, what a strange round. I cannot believe they made that work. When they got slowed down, and I'm looking at Utility, they had one Molotov, one Flashbang to get back into the bomb site. All their previous flashes had been used and, and not utilized. I think G2 actually played that pretty well, all things considered, and still come out on the losing end. And again, you want to talk about the importance of it, go back to the money. We'll just, we'll just rehash it one more time, because G2 yeah. have nothing. That's an issue. A big one. Nexa, he would love to upgrade into an AK-47. He's going to get a chance. I don't know if he can actually hold on to it, though. Oh, yeah, he can. He's good, baby. You don't think they're going to come running for him? No, hell no. All right. You're right. Plopsky's got 12. Camp is low on this for murderous rage. Small mistake from Device giving up that AK right at the end needlessly, but maybe it won't even have an impact. However, maybe it'll turn everything on its head. They still can't make that jump. They did that yesterday. Yeah, I mean, sure they know if you miss that jump, you kind of miss the timing of what makes it effective. Yeah, stops being fun at that moment. Oh, no. Hunter with the headshot. Don't screw this up if you're an IP. That would be really heartbreaking. Ooh. As I say, G2's got to be happy. They're, they're more than happy to go for a one-for-one -one against their pistols. They still got both AK-47s at the A-bomb site. Nexa yeah. and Nico waiting to receive. And they're kind of, I think they're, because of, of that activity over at B, it looks like they're even a little bit paranoid about more G2 members maybe pushing or doing something weird. So they just froze for a second on the map there to see if anyone else is going to show up. Device going to be creeping around the corner. There is a Deagle hiding in there. He's going to take care of it. No issue. The CC, though, is really close, but Device is unfazed. Just not even worried about any of it. That is very important. Yeah. Mm. NIP are going to make their way to 15 rounds first. They sure are. And that AK-47 doesn't have nearly as much impact as, uh, as Nico and Nexa would have liked. Good shooting from Device on Catwalk. Two kills for him. And one chance to close it out. G2's going to have to force overtime if they... Selfish. 15-14. <laughs> round 30 coming in hot. AWP in the hands of Omenek. All rifles as well. A little bit light on nades. Device is going to turn the corner quickly. And yeah, he doesn't want the AWP. He wants to close this map out with the AK-47. Three defenders at the A bomb site. Will Hunter and Amanek handle B? He's actually just so aggressive. It's not something you normally see Device play like this. Think about where he's coming from. And that Astralis very rigid system where, you know, everything has like a little bit more of a, of maybe like a forethought. But this is just he's running for it. If there had been someone there, I wonder if he would have just exploded them immediately. Rez, hoping for someone to walk through. They've got to be happy with the positioning they have on Catwalk and, and yeah. relocating into a B split, I would imagine. Yeah, LNZ is just checking for a flank and T spawn. It's not there. Omenek spotted a body. I don't know if he's going to call for rotation just yet. A little bit slow on the trigger. Molotov is going to keep the pace down. And oh, he misses another one. He does. Amanek, he goes down. And that bomb site is really vulnerable at the moment. Hunter, he's on his own fighting the entire NIP squad. And he will go down. Five on three. Lena staying up here. The bomb is going to be planted now. I don't know. You would need a mistake from NIP to actually win this round here. Three on five if you're G2. But obviously, they're going to be going for it. It is the 30th round. A device goes down. Nico able to pick up his 32nd kill in regulation, which in itself is just really crazy to think about rez though holding the corner and that bomb has already ticked quite far shooting him for the box jax is next and rez nearly getting the triplets nico